Hey, Bello Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I have a featured members video. This is part one. It is now a two part series because memberships are growing. Um, to me, these bolos are like the best of the best, uh, just amazing. And I'm going to tell you where they got the item, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. So stay tuned. There are some big money bolos in this video. I am going to start with the channel or the eBay store. I'm going to share that with you first. I'm going to share with you their bolo. And then at the end, we're going to have a speed round. So make sure you stay tuned to that for that speed round. Okay, you guys. Um, I'm not going to go into what Bolo Buddies memberships is. It's basically this video. If you're at level two, if you'd like to join, there's a join button down by the subscribe. Or if you don't see that join button, it is also linked in the description of the video. So if you would like to be featured in this video once a month, you can join memberships at level two. That's all I'm going to say about it. And we are going to get started with some big money bolo items. The goal is to source low and sell high. That is the idea of my whole channel is items to be on the lookout for, items you can get at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales. So let's do this, you guys. Are you ready? All right, let's get started. All right, we're going to pull up the screen share and we're going to talk about these bolos. Again, this is part one, you guys. So stay tuned for part two. Make sure that you are subscribed and you hit that bell so you get alerts when new videos post. All right, so the first item comes from Mutton Ridge Finds. And she is new to memberships and she is a bolo finder. And wait until you see what she sold. But real quick, I'm just going to show you some of her items that she has listed. And oh, I like how her store set up. It, it's in like different categories. I got to figure out how to like fix up my store and make it fancy like this. So check her out. But the item that she sold is this Barbie. You guys, it's from 1996. It's a Christian Dior Paris special edition doll. Now, the best part is, do you want to know where she sourced this? She sourced this on YouTube. And I talk about Donatella Bottolino and auctions for you all the time because I buy stuff from them and you guys always see them in my what solds. But this came from auctions for you. And she bought a Barbie lot. She paid 124. No, I'm sorry. It wasn't a Barbie lot. I think it was just a toy lot. $120 for the whole box of toys. I'm not sure what was in it. I wish she had an unboxing because I love unboxings. But um. You guys, she sold this one Barbie for $162. So that paid for her box plus some. And this is definitely a bolo. So you guys, if you are not subscribed to Auctions For You, I have her link down below. You head on over there and sign up and follow her on YouTube because her and Donatella Bottolino sell things all the time on their channels. And it's a great place to source. So Christian Dior Barbies. Check it out. Pretty, pretty, right? Okay, the next item comes from the Thrifty Broad. And the Thrifty Broad sells on multiple platforms. And she's got lots of reseller content. She does specialize in Poshmark. So if you want to know more about that. But she does sell on all, I think, it, I know for sure eBay and Poshmark. Those are usually what I look at. She may sell on um, Mercari also. But anyway, check out this gorgeous faux fur. And that's what I want to show you guys. This is faux fur. It's not even fur and it's still sold for $75. So that is fantastic. Uh, the brand is Casarati. I don't know if I'm saying that righty. righty. <laughs> Maybe it's Casarati. Um, but here is what the tag looks like. So I'm not sure what sold this, if it's just that it's really, really cool or if that's a good brand. So um, maybe she can let us know in the comments. All right. The next one comes from auctions for you herself. So again, like I said, she does auctions and selling events. Sometimes she has pop-ups where it'll just be a video where she's selling like a wholesale lot. So watch for those also. Make sure you're subscribed. Uh, make sure you're subscribed to all these channels. They are reseller channels and they are all fantastic and they are linked down below. Okay. So auctions for you bought out a, um, a toy store with tons of vintage toys and she also bought out toy storage units. And she's she's got tons of inventory, you guys. But this came from her um, one of her toy units. And this sold for $199.99. So her husband and her are a team. 
auctions for you. She does mostly the YouTube channel and helps out with the eBay store, but she kind of is more like selling online and her husband does the eBay stuff. So um, I'm guessing he probably listed this. I could be wrong. I didn't verify that, but this is a battleground crossbows uh, and catapults knights chest st starter set. I have no idea you guys, but it is a bolo. So if you see this out in the wild, definitely pick it up. Now this one is new old stock. So I'm not sure what they go for used, but if you see this item, definitely look it up because a lot of times if um the item is vintage or retired or discontinued, they will still go for big money or good money if they are used. The next item comes from Mongol Mindful Cycle. Terry is amazing. She just hit 1K. She is definitely a finder. She has tons of reseller content. Um, she has slowed down on videos, but you can check out. I mean, she's got tons of content you can check out. And I think she's going to start posting more videos again. I've been encouraging her to because she is amazing. And you guys will learn a ton. For example, look at this, you guys. Would you have picked up this 1913 Webster's Dictionary? How crazy is this? So. Um, you know what? I forgot to tell you on that fur. Oh, excuse me. Um, I'm getting all excited and I can't talk here on this fur. She got this at the Goodwill, um, the Goodwill bins. So uh, it was by weight. So I'm guessing probably five dollars or less on that. And then auctions for you. I forgot to tell you guys all the details. I told you she got it out of a uh, lot of toys. So I don't know what her cost of goods was because she buys in bulk. Uh, let's see. OK, so the dictionary. The dictionary was $5 at an estate sale, and she sold it for $149.99. Um, Terry over at Mindful Recycle, she buys a lot of like encyclopedias and stuff like this. Um, I typically stay away from them because it seems like when I get them, they're not bolos. But when she does, she always finds the bolos. So definitely check her out. She's super knowledgeable. The next one comes from Butterfly Hustles, who is also a bolo finder. I think everybody that fall, that is a member is a bolo finder. Um, whether it be bread and butter or big money, they know how to source. So uh, Butterfly Hustles, are you ready to see what she sold? She sold these Prada shoes. You guys, she found Prada um, from, actually, I was going to say she found it at a thrift store, but I was wrong. She got these from her mom. So they were free to her. And she took a best offer of $85 on these. So Prada, of course, everybody knows is a high-end uh, brand made in Italy. So if you see Prada, definitely look it up. Make sure it's not fake and list away. The next item comes from Yard Sales and Dreams. Again, big money bolo finder. I'm telling you, wait until you see the item she sold in the speed round, which is at the end of this video. Wow. All right. She sold this 1966 Ideal Toy Batman Helmet and Cape playset, high-grade toy costume Halloween. All right, you guys. So she got this at a junk store for $35, and she took a best offer of $170 for this costume, you guys. How amazing is that? It's just a cat, a cape and a helmet. It's just, it's just crazy what these vintage items go for, but it's 1966. Check that out. So if there is a date on your item, it is a good idea to always put that date in the photo. Okay, a little bluebird. Um, she has an amazing store. Also, huge, large variety of things. Uh, I just noticed the other day uh, that she was listing these little uh, cocktail swizzle sticks, which can definitely be a great bread and butter item if you guys don't know about those. I actually uh, thought these were pretty cool. And I'm surprised they haven't sold yet because I would think that they would be pretty collectible. And here's a huge lot. A lot of people part these out um, and sell them individually. The next item. Oh, I'm sorry. She sold this complete. Oh, boy. Lyonnaise Soldron's Garden. I don't know. It's a set of books, I believe. Here they are. They're hardback books. And you guys, she got these at... A thrift store for 50 cents each. So her cost of goods is $1.50. And she took a best offer of $120 for these, you guys. I don't even look at the books at thrift stores. I know that I should, but it's just something that is not my expertise. And 
I don't know. I feel like it would be so time consuming, but she obviously knew what she was getting here. And that is a fantastic bolo. The next item comes from Philly Flipper. You guys, if you like garage sale videos and you like fancy, awesome editing, like he spends two to three hours editing each video. He really takes a lot of time to edit and he puts in sold comps and he puts in what he lists things for. So they are super educational and entertaining. So check out Philly Flipper. He also has Philly Flipper Live where he does like live listing and stuff like that. So make sure you follow him over there also. Okay, so what did he sell? He sold this vintage, large, hand-carved wood folk art nude woman. And it's kind of like a bust, a sculpture. And he got this at a on the curb for free, you guys. And it sold for a best offer of $225. So you guys, he found it on the side of the road. I mean, now talk about a bolo finder finding bolos on the side of the road. Unbelievable, right? The next item was sold by Donatella Bottolino, who I mentioned earlier is partners with Auctions For You. And when I say partners, I mean that they go back and forth on each other's channels and they do um, live sales. So if you're looking for inventory, these two, they sell bolos all the time at their sales. Um, they just don't have time because they buy in bulk uh, to list everything on eBay. Donna only lists on eBay so that she can be in these videos. But uh, this is what Donna sold. Donna sold this vintage finished needlepoint Van Gogh, uh, less Iris, I don't know what it is. It's a needlepoint something. Um, and it looks like it's complete. So somebody has, it's finished. Somebody has already finished this and it's still sold. So I'm guessing somebody's probably going to put this in a frame or something like that. And Donna, again, picks things up at storage units. She's got storage unit content over on her channel. She buys things at estates and just, she has lots of contacts. She used to own a thrift store and she has a lot of contacts that reach out to her with wholesale like inventory, but it's not like new wholesale stuff. It's like vintage and awesome finds. So check her out. Franklin Hill Ventures. Okay. Franklin Hill Ventures. He has a booth and he saw, sells on multiple platforms. So if you are looking to get into like having a booth, he is definitely your guy. He sold this, you guys, this is amazing. It is a vintage Warner New York day and night mechanical gold tone flower brooch pen. And you guys, he got this in a huge lot from a reseller. Um, I think they were quitting or something like that. Um, he got it for approximately a dollar when he kind of divided it all out. Here is, um, I want to show you on the back here what it says. Warner, New York. I have no idea other than probably he researched it. I would not have looked at this and thought that this was going to be a big money bolo. But you guys, he sold this. Um, for $400 on best offer. He says, mechanics are working, pedals open and close. So I'm guessing that is one thing that makes this special is that it actually does something. It has a function, but you guys, it was even missing a rhinestone. How crazy is that? So check him out. His link is down below. We've got Chosen Goods Reseller who does a live show every Thursday morning and she's going to be doing one once a month on Thursday night to get those um, resellers that she interviews that are more of like that work during the day. So be sure to check out her live show and her other reseller content. And Chosen Goods Reseller sold this Spongel Floret Diffuser Set. And um, it's a hard to find item. HTF means hard to find. If you guys don't know, a lot of times that's better to use than rare. I mean, if you go on eBay and you search and there's 10 available, I'm probably not going to qualify that as a rare. If I go to eBay and search and there's like two or three available, maybe rare, but I think hard to find is safer. Okay, so she got this out of a subscription box. So what she does is she buys these subscription boxes. She keeps what she wants, and then she puts the overflow on eBay. And she sold this for $34.17. The buyer paid shipping, and her cost of goods was around $3.55. The next item was sold by Be Carried Away. And Carrie is super good with keywords. She does a lot of vintage clothing. So if you want to branch out into vintage, vintage clothing, check her out. She does a lot of hard goods. She taught me to look for religious items. Um, 
they seem to do really well for her. And I think that's what I have right here to show you. It's an antique 1904. Um, it's a cross. And I'm going to show you guys. It's super, super fancy here. And she got this at an estate sale for $10. And she took a best offer for $110, you guys. So I don't know. Would you have picked this up? Would you have walked past it? Uh, again, I, I don't like shipping big stuff, but I did branch out and I picked up this religious item because of Carrie and, um, primetime treasure hunter. They both talk about them being such great bolos and having a good sell through rate. And I picked one up and I've got to tell you, it was a pain to ship, but I sold it for big money and it'll be in one of my future what sold videos. So definitely stick around for a future video of that. The next item comes from Horse and Hair Curiosity Shop. Again, I'd say this every time, but she has one of the most amazing stores that I have ever seen. If you just want to be entertained, go down and click on her eBay store and just look through all of her amazing, unique, beautiful items. It's just unreal. I I, I don't know. I just, I just want to know where she sources to get all these amazing things. I mean, there's not anything in her store that's ordinary. And she picked up um, or she sold this vintage sturgeon fish platter. It's hand painted and large. And this is what's on the back here. And uh, she said she got this out of her cabinet. So this was just something that she had bought in the past and decided to sell. So um, she didn't have any details of what she paid for it, but it sold for $285 and um, definitely a bolo. And I've never heard of this brand. I don't know if you guys have or not, but I don't even see where it's marked with sturgeon. But again, she is just so knowledgeable on things. She probably just knew. The next item comes from Money Making Mama. And be prepared to be like, oh my goodness on this one. And um, her channel is newer, but she is putting out what sold videos. And she sources from a place called Dirt Cheap. And what she does is pretty amazing. She goes in and she buys stuff in bulk and she typically lots it up. So stay tuned for the one that she lotted up. It'll be in the speed round. But this one, these are Star Wars Black Series. Um, they're uh, lightsabers, you guys. And she bought 10 of these. Now, she did pay up for them. She paid, let's see, 130 each. Okay, but she sold 10 of them. And three of them sold, let me make sure here. I think they sold for $2.99 each. These, yeah, oh, sold at special offer. So I'm not sure what that means. But she made over $1,000 just on these items. But again, you guys, she did pay up for these. And she has a video right here. One item, $1,000 in less than three days on eBay. So if you guys want to go over and check out that short She's got some more information over there for you, but just an amazing find. And those came from Dirt Cheap. The next item is the Rebel Reseller. You guys, her, I love the stuff she sells. I, it just intrigues me. She sells tons of plush, but she also sells hard goods and some clothing. But She's a bolo finder and she is awesome. I don't know if you guys saw in the other featured members video, she sold this mug and I'm not going to tell you what it was because if you missed it, you got to go watch that video. This mug sold for big money and I just could not even believe my eyes. I probably would have walked past it. So be sure to follow her. She sold this Lego set and it's minifigures, vehicles, and it's incomplete, you guys, but she's got her photos out here. She's got the different... Um, Oh, what do you call them? The instruction manuals and everything. It's all laid out really nice. Great photo. She got this at a yard sale bundle. So uh, cost of goods, who knows? Because, you know, when you bundle things at yard sales. But she took a best offer of 165 for this. All right, you guys, we're getting really close to the speed round. So stay with me. Anytime picker. All right, you guys, go over and check out his channel. He's got a lot of videos that are... Well, he was. It looks like he's starting to do a little bit longer videos, but he'll do like these little short videos. So if you guys have, I don't want to say a short attention span, but you like shorter videos, check those out. But he's also doing some Walmart clearance and some different things over there. So definitely check him out. He's almost to 500 subscribers. So if you guys can go sub him up, that would be awesome. 
And what did he sell? He sold these Yadro um, boy and girl sitting in a chair playing with toys. They're from 1991. You guys, if you do not know this brand, get to know it because it is definitely a bolo. And it seems like it's really trending right now. I have shared so many resellers that have um, sold this brand lately. So that's what it looks like on the bottom of this one. And it looks like it's, let me see here. That one's a little bit blurry, but you can see kind of the little sailboat. And then it says N-A-O. I don't know what that means. But uh, yeah, Yadro, definitely a bolo item. And he got this at the Goodwill for $4.58 and sold it for $99 plus shipping. The next item. Okay, you guys, we are officially in the speed. So we move these pretty quick. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. I am going to shout out their channel, but I'm not going to pull up their information for this video. So this came from Vandy's Closet on Poshmark, which is the Thrifty Broad. And she got this at um, the bin. So it was approximately $2. And she sold this in a bundle. And approximately $50 is what she got for this. Because it was in a bundle. She worked with them on the price. But it's called Fisherman Out of Ireland. And look how cute this is. Is that not adorable? So definitely a bolo. And it's wool and cashmere. And she does a lot of clothing and shops at the Benz. So this one came from Auctions for You. It is a uh, collectible car. And again, she's selling a lot of these things in bulk on her channel. She sold this um, for $129.99 plus shipping. And it's 1968, you guys. Yenko, Y-E-N-K-O. The next item comes from Mindful Recycle. You guys, this, would you have picked this up? <laughs> I don't know that I would have. It's a vintage San Marcos blanket. And she said she learned about this on another YouTube channel. She didn't say what channel. But apparently these blankets are um, collectible. This has a blue and black, it's blue and black with a deer on it. And this sold for $100 and she got it at the Goodwill for $4.49. And the buyer paid shipping on that. This one came from Butterfly Hustles. She always finds the most amazing stuff at her value village. She has thrift with me videos that are so good. Um, she got this at the Goodwill, actually, for $3.50 and took a best offer of $100. The next item comes from Yard Sales and Dreams. You guys, look at this. What on earth? It's... um. It's a sign from a casino and you can see it's got the back where it's been taken off of probably a wall or something. I'm not really sure, but what a cool find. She got this at a garage sale for $40 and she flipped it on eBay for $450 plus shipping. And it says Jack Cincinnati Casino. The next item was sold by a little bluebird. These are vintage 1964 shilling. Um, I don't know how to say it. OHG, and then it says Richard Sousen. I don't know. I can't say it. But they're heavy wool cargo military pants, you guys. She got these at the Goodwill Benz. So by weight, had approximately $2 in them, and they sold for $74.20 plus the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this brand new Die Hard 2. Um, it's a VHS, you guys, and it's rare, sealed. And then I don't know what. OOP means. Hmm, maybe he can tell us in the chat. This one comes from Paul Philly Flipper, and he flipped this for a best offer of $200 and got a, I believe, a garage sale for $1. The next item comes from Donatella Bottolino. This is a vintage 1993 Betty Boop t shirt. And I've told you guys before that Donna does these little things with her plush where she'll put them close up and to the side and only show their face. So she's doing the same thing here with a t shirt. And I think this makes your items pop or stand out in the um, when people are scrolling. So definitely uh, maybe a little trick or tip you might want to try. And she sold this for $100 and bought it in a bulk buy. The next item comes from Franklin Hill Ventures. And these bears are Savorsky. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And it's Chris Bear Collection. My heart is yours figurine. It is retired. And he got this um, from somebody to do a consignment deal with. I think he does a 50-50 split, if I remember correctly. But this ended up selling for $90 free shipping. 
The next item comes from Chosen Goods Reseller, and this is a Kate Spade Actually I Can Thermal Mug. And it is a hard to find rare item. And it says uh, New York Boss Babe. I'm not sure what New York Boss Babe means. Um, maybe it says it on the tag here. I'm not sure. But anyway, actually I can. And this was actually purchased from a viewer. Um, Misha bought this. And Misha is super supported super supportive of the reseller community. And I know she recently bought a dress from Rachel Strickland, but this mug sold for $31.09. Her cost of goods was $3 in a subscription box. The next item comes from Be Carried Away. And what I learned in my Facebook group, I posted this the other day and somebody said that the ones that have the cartoon eyes like this do not sell for much. The ones with like the solid um, black eyes, I guess, sell for more. I have not verified that, but it's just something that somebody wrote. I can't remember if it was Carrie or not. If it was Carrie, I definitely believe it because she does her research in depth on everything and she's super knowledgeable. So be sure to check her out on Be Carried Away. She got this at the thrift store for 99 cents and sold it for a best offer of $50. It is a Squishmallow Lily the Lamb plush. If you guys want to know more about Squishmallows, I have three videos on my channel about Squishmallows. This one came from Horsehair Curiosity Shop. Her eBay store is linked below. She's the one with all the really amazing, unique, different items. And she bought this at an after Christmas sale. So I'm guessing, um, from the actual store, maybe. I'm not sure. But she paid $55 for it. It is a Jim Shore. Jim Shore is collectible. Um, they do range from bread and butter to big money. Um, I sold a broken Jim Shore today that um, I think I sold it for $35 and it was broken. So pretty excited about that. And it sold within a week. So um, she sold this for full asking price of $249 plus shipping. The next item is Money Making Mama. I told you guys she gets things in bulk from Dirt Cheap. Her cost of goods for each of these was $2. And there were seven, of, or no, wait, two, four, six, eight, nine. There's nine of them. And so $18 is her cost of goods. And got it at Dirt Cheap. Ended up taking a best offer of $189 on these and free shipping. So it's, it's really cool what she does. So check out her channel for more. The next item comes from the Rebel Reseller. She got these books at a garage sale for free, you guys. The best number to source. Um, free. Amazing, right? Just they're giving it away. And took a best offer of $100 on these. So they are Harlequin Presents Romance Books. Um, there's 109 books here. So it is a huge lot, but her cost of goods was nothing. And it's not a complete set. So, and that was the Rebel Reseller. The next item here comes from Anytime Picker. And this is just for the DVD player. He put the TV on the top to show that the item works, which is really clever. Um, you just got to make sure that you include that the TV is not included, which he did right there. Right here, TV in the image is not included. So you want to make sure you've got that at the top so there's no confusion. But he got this at a Goodwill for $9.99 and he sold it for $109. And the last item here comes from, what did I do? Oh, here we go. This one comes from Mutton Ridge Finds. And she got these at an estate sale for $10. You guys, these are not sterling silver. These are not uh, silver plated. They are stainless. Um, so stainless will sell and it can sell for big money. And these have a really cool pattern. So I'm guessing somebody was probably just looking for this to complete their set. And um, sometimes you have to do a little research to figure out what that pattern is. But she took a best offer of $75 on these and the buyer paid shipping. All right, you guys, what did you think about those big money bolos? Again, memberships, um, if you want to join and be a part of this video, you can do that. Um, links down below. I am getting ready to work on another featured member video, part two. And then I'm also going to have a bonus video this month, which is going to be a speed round video. So hit that bell, make sure you're subscribed. And as always, thanks for watching.